Are you sick of these ugly vents? Well, I might have a solution and an idea for you, so let's get started. So if you have one of these ugly vents, I'm gonna give you an idea that might be a good solution for you to create some modern, clean looks in your house. All you need is four pieces of wood. These are scrap pieces. Go to Home Depot and get some Baltic birch, spackle, drywall trim, a drill, drywall screws, and a little drywall. So let's get started. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is make your box here. This is gonna serve as the frame for your vent. Again, the wood doesn't have to be brand new. I'm using scrap wood. Just making sure everything's nice and square. And then what I'll do is I'll wrap this with drywall around there. And then I'll put the trim pieces around. Then I'll take this and I'll place it inside this box here, secure it. And then I'll make the seamless invisible vent so you can see how that looks and it will take the place of this ugly thing. And I'm doing it all for under 40 bucks. All right, all right. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get this situated. So we're gonna drywall around the two by fours. And I'm not sure if you guys have ever worked with drywall before, but um, the key with drywall is you're gonna take your box cutter and basically score the top. Just take this, crack it, and then you'll just cut this other side here. Boom. And then what I did was I had this cut to the distance here, and all I'm going to need is about a one inch piece, so nothing has to be precise because that trim edge is going to fix the squareness of it. So I'm just going to go around here. About a one inch score. It's pretty skinny, so I have to be very careful on how you snap this. Let's see if I can get it. There it goes. Snapped it. So that will go here. I'll do another piece. And you want to put the white side out and keep the brown side in. So I'm going to keep this out. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect because that trim edge is going to square it up. And like that, those track pretty clean, so that's very nice. So we've got the two pieces there. And now, cut out the end pieces. Same thing here, cut an inch, crack it, get it set, oops, okay. Butchered two pieces, so what I'm gonna do, butchered those pieces, I'm gonna put them on the ground. Take this, trim it out, 
place it right there. All right, next. All right, now I'm dry, uh, screwing in the drywall. These are very slim pieces, so you gotta be very slow. Or you'll crack the drywall. And you just have to cut another piece. Again, you don't need to go crazy with the screws here because you're gonna have that trim piece that you're screwing in. So I guess the less screws you use on this step, the less opportunity for you to screw on top of a, another screw head. So Situated, and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this to be square, and uh, then we'll dry fit it, and then we'll spackle it in, and then we'll talk about how the vent will be cut out and uh, set up. All right. So next step was I went and I cut the trim pieces, and the key thing here is making sure it's square. So I'm going to set up one of the sides snug on this side because this side's tight and I'll have to move that in as much as I can. Oh, your eyes start to go. Okay, uh, six and five eighths. Both are perfect. So I'm driving these pretty deep in because uh, you need to have the hide the screw heads and the more screw heads you have the more you have to work around so so there's your square I'm going to try to fit it in here and then what I'll do I'm going to spackle around that and then my new cover will just slip right into here. So I'm designing it to where I could pull this out and still access anything that happens down there just to make sure there's no leaks. So it's pretty much a uh, removable vent cover. So uh, that's the next step. All right, let's go. All right, the next step is I mounted that in. Lots of putty. And lots of spackle. How do you um so, how do you make this one stand up? Huh? You don't have a backboard, a brace for it. Uh, I'm gonna have an insert, so this one's gonna be like this, removable. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know you were filming there. I'm sorry. Did you? Sorry. 
There's butter all the way around it. I got my work partners here. It might look nasty right now, but it's gonna look beautiful soon. show you on one of these. So you take this. You guys have probably seen us at Home Depot or Lowe's and you're like, what is that for? Well, if I can find it in, I'm going to show you. Alright, note to self. Fold it over one of the ends so you can see it all the way through. This stage, don't take it on that much because you want it to dry. So you kind of get a little bit like that on there. See that? I see it. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. All right, we're going to come back in a little bit. Today is going to come to an end because uh, we got to have a little patience here. So, what I've done is I went around and basically put a light coat over the uh, tape here and we want to just do a very light coat because it's like kind of like painting you don't want to put a heavy coat because then it gets really nasty so as you can see you can still see the exposed tape that's exactly how you want it so we're going to give it about 24 hours we'll be back for the rest we are um i had to take a different plan but the vent uh little retrofit thing is nice and snug so I got that in there. What I'll probably do is I'll probably caulk around this, but I'm not sure because I wanna be able to take this out, check in there, vacuum, make sure it's clean. I opted not to put the front plate because I wanted to, I wanted to make sure I didn't restrict any airflow. So that is done, it's with Baltic Birch. This one here, I just pretty much left it the way it is and um, hopefully you guys like it. And it's really just to tie in the other woodwork in my home. So if you look in my kitchen, it's really to tie in this Baltic birch here. So basically, just trying to make it nice and seamless. All right, hopefully you guys like this video. I might do more of little projects I do around the house. So uh, have a great day. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I love your feedback.